our on-road drive experience with the 2024 Dark Horse Mustang. Oh, I say it before and I'll say it again. This is my favorite Mustang I've ever driven. I know that might sound dramatic, but between Super excited because we're going to be driving the Dark Horse Mustang on the road and giving our driving impressions, but also do some testing with it. We'll see if it's actually faster than the GT. And should you even just buy it over a GT? Is it worth the price upgrade? And behind me is exact the spec that I ordered that should be coming to the channel. A little delayed right now in production, but this is the car that we actually ordered right here. The Dark Horse Blue Ember Performance Pack. This is exactly the one we ordered. The only difference I ordered the fat guy seats, he didn't cool, not Recaros. But what's great about these, these Recaros are comfortable compared to the way back when 350 Recaros were like sitting on rocks. But take a look, here it is. Perfect. You like my new Dark Horse Mustang? Similar. 100% honest, you know, not to try to sound all journalistic. I'm not a journalist. I'm just a guy, playing a guy, playing another dude who likes to drive Mustangs on YouTube. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. What? I asked Ford about what makes a dark horse better than GT. Now, <laughs> I had to ask Mike, what's the difference of me just getting a GT performance pack and saving money compared to getting a dark horse? What's so good about a dark horse compared to GT Performance. So we've got we've got your GT Performance pack, you've got your dark horse base, you've got your dark horse handling pack, and there's a place for each car. Uh, the Performance pack is of course more road focused. You could still take it on a track day; it's fun. Um, but as you step to the dark horse base, you're going to get stiffer springs, a more aggressive Magnaride uh, strategy, um, uh, different E pass, more aggressive aero. Um, and then you get all the track coolers with that. So if you really like track days but want a very streetable car, that's the Dark Horse base. If you're hardcore uh, into track days, the handling pack, you get stiffer springs front and rear again, uh, stiffer rear bar, uh, still more aggressive Magna Ride and E-Pass, uh, and the uh, most aggressive aero package. Um, and your wheel size steps up with each two. So we've got those wonderful 305, 315 Trofeo RS tires from Pirelli on our handling pack that are just meant for this environment. We're getting more track durability out of them. We're getting extra sessions. We're getting more grip. Uh, and then even on the road, they're better for uh, tram lining, ride, wet handling. All right, well, there you go, guys. Guys, I'm a believer in this 350. Owner, shocked. Yeah, she's I a, am. She's a truly. tough critic. I'll be real. She's a I, tough critic, so. I, I like the honesty. Because we drove the GTs last week, and I was prepared to say, like, okay, this is a little bit better, but no, this completely blew me out of the door. How was it? Holy crap! This thing just sticks like glue. All right. I mean, just getting used to the track. Get this helmet off. A little head thingy there. Mega grip. Mega. I mean, the banking dude is like you're gonna love it. It just sets you in the seat. Stay in the throttle. Look far ahead. I, I mean, I can go way faster. I'm just getting used to the track, but the grip level is unbelievable. All wow. right. You get what you pay for, even though everyone's gonna talk about the power, you know, what's 480 to 500. It's a lot because when you start to take into consideration the aero, the the bigger wheels, the suspension upgrades, you know, this is the little small features on the interior. It's got some Alcantara or suede, whatever the inserts are. The steering wheel feels better. I just like it. And I like the fact that it's a, a premium Mustang. It's not the thing against it as a GT or EcoBoost, but it's a dark horse, it's the first of its name. It's cool, and I feel good driving it. I had that same feeling, dare I say, driving a Shelby that I have with the dark horse. I feel like I'm in something special. Renting. 
I really just think the Dark Horse is better. <laughs> How can I make 10 videos out of the frame? The Dark Horse is better. Dark Horse is just better. 16 miles to the gallon on the 4th Gen 5.0 around town and, you know, with the press driving it. Not, not the worst, not the greatest, but those cars have been pushed. So yeah. And guys, before we get any further into the video with the Dark Horse Mustang, remember our giveaway is still live for the 66 Mustang. We have less than 100 posters left. You grab a poster, that giveaway ends and it closes and we can open up the 69 Mach 1 giveaway, which is a standard time giveaway. So go now on 3 spycom and win my Mustang. All right, on to the Dark Horse, let's go. First, um, this is just, I, I just, I do, I didn't truly fall in love with the EcoBoost and GT last time in California. I do love the Dark Horse. This is my new favorite Mustang, and it's not even the, the fastest one I've ever had. It's just put together. The, the materials inside are premium. It's my new favorite Mustang. I mean, I could be a little bit dramatic in this, but I just feel like it's just my new favorite, and I'm happy to say that, um, you know, I'm happy to say that. I think it's that good of, uh, of a vehicle. So anyways, um, get a dark horse and tell them Stango sent you. Um, also, what else you gotta say as a passenger, you were saying? This? I think it feels way safer in this car because car handles so much better and smoother than the GT that we drove. Even though the GT we drove was performance pack GT that's supposed to be very like, great on everything like this is just completely different level yeah yeah absolutely this is like everything you can get in the mustang with the new s650 coming out yeah yeah and the screens are not as annoying i don't know what it is i just maybe it's just everything put together with the, the faux carbon and the better steering wheel and the stitching and I don't know, it just feels more premium, it just feels better. I mean, of course it's more expensive, but this is the one to get. So, Dark Horse wins. Whenever you go to Cars and Coffee, you go, Dark Horse, first of its name, and the Mustang you never saw coming. And you gotta shake your head like that. Alright guys, that is the end of our on-road drive experience with the 2024 Dark Horse Mustang. Oh, I say it before and I'll say it again, this is my favorite Mustang I've ever driven. I know that might sound dramatic, but between the tech, the 5.0, the 10 speed, it's all money, it's all in harmony, oh, it's effortless, the steering is just the bee's knees guys and I encourage you if you doubt me which you shouldn't do take a test drive for yourself and see if this is the one for you because I'm gonna tell you right now it's the one for me all right you guys I appreciate the support please like and subscribe check out our giveaways at on3supply.com shout out to Ford for inviting us to share this experience with you because you know it never ends peace